everybody. I'm Jeffrey with NetTouch.com, and this is the Screencast of the Week. And today we're going to be slicing up a PSD file and creating some perfect XHTML. So for some of you, you might think, oh, this is, this is very simple, you know, I learned this a long time ago. But the fact remains that these kinds of tutorials uh, have proven to be the most popular on NetTouch.com. So, um... If they're that popular, it means that there is a huge audience for it, and I thought what better to do than create a screencast that shows you how to take a PSD that's finished, cut it up, and create some HTML and make it look um, exactly like it does in Photoshop. So I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. Uh, let's go ahead and look at my Photoshop file, and then we will look at uh, the final product, and then we'll build it as quickly as I can. So this is a template that I'm working on for ThemeForest.net. Uh, it's for your standard, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of corporate seminars that go on all the time. So this is for them, maybe some kind of car dealership seminar, something like that where they all get together and go play golf and poker and wine night and all that stuff. Anyways, um, this is very, uh, actually a very simple theme, you know, it's your standard bread and butter layout. I found with, with companies like this, they don't want anything too adventurous. They want to, you know, get their information, make it as simple as possible, and uh, and be done with it. So this is what I have. This is what I ended up with. Let me move over to Photoshop. You'll see I changed a few things. And I'm going to zoom out. I'm on this tiny screen for the screencast. Uh, zoom in one more time. So this is what I ended up with. Uh, we're using a plugin to switch between, you know, this featured content. Uh, right now, I just have the same thing with different images. Uh, we have the register now button. Uh, we have our navigation. Now, keep in mind, just for the sake of the screencast, I'm not going to build the entire site. We're just going to build this home page, and I will, uh, over this next week, work on the remaining pages and upload it to ThemeForest. But that's not this tutorial. We're just going to focus on the front page. So we have who are we? I added these little e icons that weren't in the screencast, and you know just made it a little bit uh, cleaner and white. If you come back, you see I was using this blue stripe background on the heading. I decided that was a little cheesy, so um, especially for corporate clients, I think it's best just keep it very professional. Um, so that's what we ended up with. Uh, we're using a few browser stylings to create the rounded edges. And, you know, nothing too complicated. Uh, for the screencast, I think this is about a perfect uh, difficulty level. Okay, so here's my document. I'm going to come and select this slice tool right here, and we will get right into it. Uh, I'm going to begin by slicing up these images that I need. So, it's a very simple. Photoshop has a snapping on, so I can just come up to the top right here, and it'll do most of the snapping for me. So that takes care of one. I'm going to hit spacebar to turn to the hand tool and just scroll to my next image. There's the next one. And you know, pretty simple stuff. It's not too complicated. Um, I think people, uh, newer people, get it in their mind that uh, it's just it's too difficult and they need to pay other people. But it's just not really the case. Okay, there's that. That's just my personal uh, stamp, my personal logo. Get this one. Uh, if you ever make a mistake, you can just press Control Control Z, and that will undo your previous action. If you need to go back more than one, you can press Control Alt Z if you're using a PC. All right, and I'm going to hit Control minus to zoom out. Uh, next, I'm going to get um, these uh, these events. Usually, at these kind of corporate seminars they have like these different events every day like they'll have a poker night and they'll have a, a golf tournament and like a wine happy hour type thing you know th there's a, actually a bunch of seminars in the the web development area too uh, let me let's grab this header now the reason I'm gonna grab the whole thing is because uh, you may not be able to see this on the video but I actually have this texture gradient background and I'm thinking you won't be able to see that. So that's why I'm selecting the whole thing rather than simply the logo and uh, applying a, a dark blue background with HTML. Cut out this register now. And that might be all we need. I can grab this arrow later. 
Yeah, I think that's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up here and go to Save for Web and Devices. Now you'll see here, I'm going to hit once again Control minus to zoom out, I can select individual uh, slices that I've made. And this is how I can save some as a ping and some as a JPEG. So for instance, this hand shaking, I'm going to save it as a JPEG and the quality of 60 is fine. Let's uh, move to this uh, calendar. I think a JPEG is fine as well. That should be fine. Register now. I'm going to save that as a, a JPEG as well because I have some gradients. And anytime you're working with a gradient, uh, usually a JPEG is the best format. Um, let's go up here. I'm going to bring up the quality on my header just a little bit more because I want to make sure that looks nice and sharp. I can uh, press the space bar to move to the hand tool and scroll down. And this Texas Hold'em event, I think that would be better as a ping. You know, it all comes down to what it, whatever is a smaller size for you. Yeah, ping will be smaller. Check out my logo. That's a gradient, so once again, I'm going to keep that as a JPEG. Uh, let's check this little class this class photo right here. That should be a JPEG at 60. That's fine. I don't have to make too many edits. Like I said, I'm not going to keep this background for the heading. Um, I'm going to go with something else. Alright, so I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to move into a special folder that I created for this um, for this screencast called Some Event. And I'm going to save them all collectively as images. And then for each image, Photoshop will save it as like image 1, image 2, image 3. So I'll click Save. And that's saved it to my folder. So let's go ahead and uh, see what it gave me. Uh, I have these two JavaScript files that I already had in there. We'll go over that later. But Photoshop created this images folder for me. If I open that up and expand, you can see it has sliced up um, all these photos for me. Now, it's assuming that I wanted to slice up the entire website so I can recreate it. I'm not going to do that. I think it's bad practice. So I'm just going to take like five seconds and select these, um, these additional images that it saved for me and just get rid of them because we won't be needing them. There might be a more um, uh, specific way to slice your images. Um, I'm not a huge Photoshop guy. I do pretty much keep it open all the time, but you know there are plenty of things I don't know. And it only takes about 10 seconds to go in and get rid of everything you don't need. Okay, and we are left with the core images that we need for our website.